hose has been pretty dirty around here. There's been a lot of dirty hose. But now that I'm here, I'm cl classing up the joint, you know? I like, I like my hose clean. <laughs> We are going to be spending a lot of our time and money on putting a new air system throughout both buildings. Hopefully uh, a little better quality in our air system between last year and this year. So. Uh, yeah, so we are all standing in the shop. We knew we were pressure testing that night, so everyone left except for a, a handful of us to make sure that it was going all right. Uh, we are all standing in the shop just hanging around, and we were going up in PSI, going up in PSI. I, everything seemed fine, no, no problems. And I turned over to Matt to look, and I said, hey, how are we doing? As, as I said doing, all you hear is Not even the beauty of Alaska could take the pain away from hearing that my haunted house is blowing up. So this is about a third of the material that we use for the entire summer. It's all worthless. We had shards this big all the way back in my clown room. Kyle and Chaka have run for their lives into my office. I'm pretty sure there was a moment where they probably embraced each other as they fell through the door and then fell under my desk. That's how I see it in my head. I've been up till two in the morning every night Googling air systems and trying to figure stuff out. My ulcer's acting up for sure. Schedule 40, 280 PSI of water, not air. Now we have to tear it out and put another $5,000 into some sort of replacement system. So I took money out of my savings and I just kind of ponied up. We're gonna sell it to the Blue Man Group. What day is today? Prop day! Prop day! Well, what all is involved in prop day? Props? Oh, damn! Oh. This is finally to see what John bought on that last Sunday at Transworld, because we don't know. This guy looks like a corn dog shaved his hair. <laughs> so we got a bunch of new props in, and we're trying to place them where we think John would have them. Yeah. Alright, we gotta going bring on? John in and have him bitch at us about how we're wrong at everything. This one's good. Nah, okay. I don't like that one. So let's move this one over here to the edge of the chair. For a room we didn't know we were doing. Really? Got Did you buy them for the Maniac Ward? I bought these for the Maniac Ward. You have to see it. Look a lot better in here. However you want to do it, you can do it. Hey guys, this is Jeff Walker. I'm going to show you how to build a slag tight. <laughs> Our base is just simple 2x4. We want to make it as light as possible because it is hanging. I've cut 2x4s in half to help reduce the weight. The base that we are going to use is a solid 2x4 so it is strong where it's connected to the ceiling. Our slag tight is going to be hooked to a beam in between two rafters, which I have a false beam right here. It's going to be two 2x4s two together. We're going to drop our temporary blocks, which the model will show what the beam is going to look like, and then our other brace on the other side. Now we can get rid of these. Not anymore, and we know we have the right width. So we have two stems, different lengths. Our longer one is on the right-hand side, so if you notice, put the brackets close to the right-hand side. Since the basic shell is done, we're going to start putting on smaller pieces that are cut. These pieces can go anywhere. It's all going to what the screening wraps around to help build that screening out to get that rock formation. Our slag tight should end up making like a triangular formation, a wide base going to a small point. It looks ugly, like Mike's attitude. Why you got to be like that? Why you got to be so mean? But no one's going to see this because it's going to be screened. Start at the top, drop a staple in, and start pulling your screening down, keeping it very tight against all the boards. That way when it hits, it makes those sharp edges. Now we're gonna cut the excess off, what's already been wrapped all the way around. And this, we'll just fold back under, and that extra that's left, will wrap around. We're gonna screw the stalactite into a temporary base so it's easier to foam all the way around. We wanna put it up before we foam it, for the fact that when it foams, the foam drops down like a rock formation would form. Tiger foam is what we're using to cover this. It's awesome because not only does it give that rock look when it's sprayed on and it adheres to the screen, it's also completely flame retardant, so we don't have to worry about it catching fire or anything. Attempting to finish the air system. So what's your deadline for this? Two days ago? In the grand scheme of things, um, we've gone from 
uh, behind in a troubling way to now we're like woefully behind. Even with all the debacle with air, it's still supposed to be done Wednesday. It's now the following Monday. Uh, and they're still doing it. You don't want to see in there? You don't want to see in there. So today, in the sake of trying to gain a little bit of ground, we're taking a room, the vampire room, and we've created the vampire room challenge. And what's all entailed in the vampire Fucking challenge? Bullshit. We're going to do the entire build beginning to end in this room in the next two work days. Now here are the guidelines. First one is time. Whatever we do has to happen in the next two days. Second, budget. The most important thing you need to know about budget is we don't have any. There are no designs, there's nothing on paper. They cannot blame Kyle, because uh, he's homesick. They just have themselves and their own creativity. Can we put this in the vampire room? Yes. It's a cross. Hot. Very hot. It's 100% humidity and it's like mid 90s outside, which makes it like 115 degrees inside and you're just sweating standing still. So we know we're Start the bus. Yeah, drop a coffin up top above the door. I just want to get this whole back wall done. All the archway is braced out. We're just going to go with it, John. We're going to live with it. Now we're placing our uh, crawling zombie. Immediately, uh, Gimlick took like one of the biggest liberties and said, hey, that $2,500 prop that was supposed to be for another room, I want it. Which I like, because I never saw that coming. I never saw that prop in that room. I'm waiting for the boss man for final placement, and we are moving on. It's foggy, it's lazy lights, and you go punch him in the head with a prop. I just got knocked the f out by your prop. At the end of the day, it was gonna come way too close to the audience's face. So we talked about it, we negotiated a little bit on how we could do it. Precision work. He's gonna cut the whole thing. Uh, but they fought for it, they want it. Ah! Ah! Chaka, can we get a better sound than that? All the coffins up, and then we got our laser stands built. Now we have to screen it all. And after we're done screening, then we go into foaming. I don't know if you ever foamed before. Don't. If we don't have enough foam for that, Jeff will go through the can of great stuff and apply it by hand. That's not your hand. That's my third hand. Oh. Want a high five? Now we have Bobby up top actually laying the foam out. We ran into some problems like walking in and people aren't wearing masks. Move! If you do not have a mask off, get out of the building! If you see someone doing something stupid or dangerous, look after them. When you're spraying noxious fumes in the air. That was stupid. I don't like it, but it's so f***ing hot in this building that the foam is not drying. It's more glue than the foam mixture so it just starts running. Yeah, I mean it's just a show. So it's done. And it won't blow up. I didn't say that. Matt said it was ready. And we flipped that switch and all the tanks came on and air started circulating through the system and it was quiet. As quiet as a meadow. We have a better system now than what we ever thought we were going to have when we had conceived the old system that blew up in our faces. The clock has ended, and it is time to go and see if uh, the crew got the vampire room in the two-day challenge finished. Time is up! Fog the room! Right here is the sweet spot. Let me see you come up out of that fog slowly. Oh yeah. The crew did an amazing job just bringing it together. Guys, it looks great. Excellent work. Good job, everybody. Challenge complete. Challenge complete. Beer 30. We did it. We finished it. Two days of the build. We did everything. Everything's perfect, pristine, and everyone was in unity. In yeah. two days, we just took a room that was kind of one of our not <laughs> Enough, enough favorite rooms and turned it into a very dynamic yeah. new room that has scares. Oh, I know they have scares. Go scared the shit out of me in there. <laughs> and they stuck it out. I never heard them complain once. So, great job, crew. Great job. This is how we do it at Zombie Arm.
Days of the Living Dead is brought to you by Trans World Halloween and Attraction Show, bringing you the most exhibitors and best industry-related products for the last two decades at haashow.com. Halloween Extreme, the only Halloween prop and effect trade show open to the public at halloweenextreme.com. And Legendary Haunt Tour. Experience world-class, state-of-the-art haunted attractions from behind the scenes while networking with fellow haunters from across the country at legendaryhaunttour.com.